Hello, my name's Chris from today. I'm gonna show you how to install Nako DB and MySQL on Cos OS. So a little bit about this series. I'm going over home labs, I'm gonna install things, getting things set up, everything like that. So if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And let's get started. So Nako DB is a self-hosted smart spreadsheet. So it makes it to where you can have spreadsheets on your own infrastructure. So you can create instant solutions. So you can have data work for you. So um, I collaborate with sp our spreadsheets by allowing a user in, automate a business workflows. Uh, it has a headless API to where you can hook it into other apps on your network or whatever you want. And um, so we're going to get to installing it on Cos OS. So I'm going to start on Big Bear Video Assets. There will be a link down in the description to get to it. I'm going to go to how to install Nako DB and MySQL on Cos OS. Then I'm going to have to install MySQL first. So I'm going to go to Docker Compose MySQL right here. I'm going to explain it. So version 3 of Docker Compose is going to be used. I'm going to have a services down here. And I'm going to have the first service, MySQL. And then I'm going to use MySQL, the Docker image, the, uh, the, uh, the official one. And then I'm going to use version 8 on the tag for Docker. And then now I'm going to set a custom name for the running container. That's MySQL. I'm going to set some environment variables. So I'm going to go with MySQL root password as password. MySQL database is not ODB. And then MySQL user is Big Bear. MySQL password is password. I'm going to map some ports. So I'm going to map 3306 to 3306 in the container. So this is on the host. This is on the container. And then now I'm going to have to map a volume. So I'm going to do a bind to data, app data, MySQL on the host. And then var lib MySQL on the um, cont container. You cannot change this. You can change this if you'd like. And you can change the host port. But do not change the container port because that's what the Docker container is listening on. So, that's about the Docker Compose MySQL. So now I'm going to copy this. Raw file. And then I'm going to go over to my Casa OS. I'm going to go to App Store. Then I'm going to go up to Custom Install. I'm going to go to Import right here. And then I'm going to import the Docker Compose inside of the uh, Cos OS right here. I'm going to submit. OK. And then I'm going to give it a name. So I'm going to give it uh, MySQL. I'm going to have to give it a... I don't have to, but I like to be more consistent. So I give it a MySQL icon right here. And then I'm going to go over here. So I'm going to not give it a web UI because there's no uh, web UI listening. So now I'm going to map 3306 there. So this should be right. It is. And the default database is not GoDB. So that's correct. So it looks like it put everything in correctly. So I'm going to go ahead and install it. So what this is doing is it's pulling down from Docker Hub. It's getting it uh, extracted because uh, Docker containers are layers. And then it's starting up the Docker Compose. You can continue in background if you'd like to. Now it's just checking if there's a newer image that's available in case the cache is not up to date. Okay, now it's installed and it should be up and running. So we're going to get to install NACODB now. So I'm going to start back on Big Bear Video Assets. There will be a link down in the description. So I'm going to go into how to install NACODB and MySQL on COS OS. And then I'm going to go into Docker Compose Nako DB right here. I'm going to explain this. So I'm going to set Docker Compose to version 3, the file. 
and now I'm going to uh, have services. First service is NACODB. And then I'm gonna set an image. So I'm gonna get NACODB off of Docker Hub. Then I'm gonna set the tag for Docker. So 0 0.111.0. And then if this has an upgraded version, by the time you look at this video, you can go into this Docker Hub URL right here and get a better version, a latest version. And then I'm gonna map 7200 port on the host to 8080 on the container. 7200 can be changed if you'd like, so you can change it to a different port as long as it's not taken. And then 8080 on the container, the container port cannot be changed. So you can set it to always, but you can also set it to unless stopped. So it, if you set it to unless stopped, it would be to where if you stop it, it will not try to restart. But if you, uh, it, but if it fails for any reason, it will try to restart. If you set it to always right here, it will try to restart no matter what. And then now I'm going to set an environment variable. So I'm going to, I'm going to have the Casa OS IP address right here. So we're going to change that. And then 3306 is the uh, port for my MySQL. If you change the port on the install of MySQL, you do need to change this. And you, you need to update your user, you need to update your password, and your database. So if you change any of these credentials, you need to put it into here. So now I'm gonna mount a volume. So I'm gonna do data app data NACODB. You can change the host path if you'd like. And then in the container, you cannot change this. It's USR app data. So uh, now I'm going to go and I'm going to copy the raw file up here. Then I'm going to go over to my COS OS and get this installed. So now I'm going to go into my app store. And then I'm going to go to, up to custom install. I'm going to import. I'm going to import a Docker Compose that I had over there and I copied. And I'm going to need to change this IP to the Casa OS's IP. So I'm going to do 20. Okay, so if you change the port, you'll need to change it right here. And if you change the username, which I did change the username, and now the password is password, and then the database is NACODB. You can, if if this uh, matches up with the MySQL uh, con uh, container, it should be good to go. So now I'm going to submit. Okay, I'm going to give it a name, so Naco DB. Then I'm going to set a icon. I'm going to go over to my Big Bear Video Assets, and I'm going to go to Naco DB icon right here. Copy it. Then I'm going to go over to Cost OS again. I'm going to paste it in. We have a nice little icon right there. Okay, now I'm going to set the web UI port. So 7200. And then this should be good to go. So I'm going to set a host name. Do not go DB. Okay, now I'm going to say install. Continue in background. This is just downloading off Docker Hub and extracting it and uh, starting it up with Docker Compose. Okay, now it should be good. So you can go in here, you can open, you can set tips. And then settings, you can go in here, you can see turn on logs, you can export the Docker Compose file. You can see the settings right here. If you change the settings, you have to press the save button. And then you can check for updates, you can uninstall, you can restart, you can power off and on. So now I'm gonna go see if it works. Okay, I got the sign up screen. So next we're gonna set up the UI and get it all set up. So now I'm gonna get the uh, UI set up for NACODB. So I'm gonna go over to the NACODB right here, click it. It wants me to sign up to be a super admin, so I'm going to do that. So I'm gonna put in a email. And I'm gonna put in a password. Has to be at least eight characters, looks like. And you can subscribe to their weekly newsletter if you'd like. So I'm gonna sign in, uh, sign up right here. 
Okay, now you can see that it's set up. So you can start adding data to your table. It's pretty neat. Then you can create another column and have more data. So that's how to get NACODB running on COS OS. So I just showed you how to get NACODB and MySQL running on COS OS. This makes it to where you can share data with other people with a spreadsheet, or you can use the Headless API to bring it into your app. Uh, so if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or you need support, you can go down to the Big Bear community and join our Discord. There is a link down in the description. So stay tuned for more.